Okay, guys, now we are going to do question number five. Okay, as per your EOT. And this one is the use of Gauss theorem. Okay, so just read the question carefully and then we will solve this. Okay, now find the uniform distribution of charge. The linear charge distribution. Okay, what exactly the linear charge distribution? Uh, like a density. Density is mass by volume. But it is about the linear. So linear charge distribution. So what is the linear charge distribution? Lambda is equals to charge by length. What does it mean in a particular length? What is the unit value of the charge? So from here, we can find out Q is equals to lambda times L. Guys clear? Okay, now the second part. For the surface charge density, okay, what exactly the surface charge density? We have the word called sigma, which is charge by area. So we can find out the Q, which is equals to sigma times area. Similarly, we have the third part also. That is the volumetric charge density, which is equals to rho charge by volume. And if you need to find the charge, which is equals to rho times V. Okay. Now, what exactly we need to solve? Finite line of charge. Finite line of charge. We need to use the Gauss theorem. Okay, first we read the question and then we will use it to find the electric field. Okay, what exactly we are looking for? Electric field. Okay, we need to find the value. Okay, along the line bisecting means whatever the line, let's say you have this line and bisect this bisect means just make it half from here okay so half should be left side half should be right side a finite length okay we know what is the value of the length of the wire with linear charge density okay we need to use the term called lambda this part we need to use okay i will highlight this part we need to use this part in this question Okay, we integrate the contributions to the electric field from the all charges, from the all the charges in the wire. We assume that wire lies along the x-axis. Okay, it is only going right. So guys, this question is divided into two parts. Huh? First, I will explain you this question with the help of diagram. And then I will solve this question with the help of Gauss theorem. Okay, first see this. I will just redraw and so that you can understand. So this is the part one. Part one with the help of diagram. Okay, let's say this is the wire. Okay, so if there is a wire, make a intersection. Bisect this. Okay, bisect. Take any point. Okay, let's say this is the point from here. Let's say this is the part DQ and you need to find here the electric field. So how the electric field is going? Let's say this is. Okay, so where we will find the angle? Okay, there is angle theta. Let's say this is your DE because we have a small charge DQ. Okay, first understand huh? so that it will be clear. We have electric field E is equals to K times Q over R square. Yes or no? This is the formula. Okay, this is the general formula or the basic formula. Okay, if I use DQ, small charge, then electric field produced by a small charge is also small. So can I say DE, small electric field, which is produced by small charge DQ divided by R square. Now you understand this is the as per the question, as per question. Clear? Okay, now we have an angle theta. So I told you earlier also, whenever you have a theta, DE cosine theta, break this and you will see, you will get first part and you will get the second part. So this is your DE sine of theta, clear? Okay, now the second point. Now take the same DQ charge from here also, second side. So this is your electric field. So you have same electric field DE. And here you will get the angle theta. So how many parts we will get here? Just see. Okay, I will use a black color. Okay, so here is the first part. And here's the angle. So what we get here? DE 
cos of theta and here d e sin of theta so what exactly we understand from this question huh just try to figure out let's say this is the wire from this wire what we understand all the electric field what is the conclusion huh conclusion is all the electric field is going exactly up exactly up which is making an angle here clear do you understand so exactly going up and the net electric field should be equals to twice of de cosine theta okay and this factor de sine theta cancel out each other because they are equal and opposite and these two add up and they become twice of de cosine theta okay you understand the logic of cosine theta okay fine now the part two because if you solve from this part okay this is the solution but you need to solve with the help of integration that will create a problem for you so instead of that i will give you very easy method how to solve this okay now you can say that is the type 2 which is very very easy huh type 2 take a cylinder which is easy to understand okay so now as per the Gauss theorem we have the two parts huh as per the Gauss theorem we have a flux equals to integration over a closed path e dot d a yes or no okay or instead of d a you can write a also no problem and the second part is flux is equals to q by epsilon naught so first we will solve second part huh? this one just solve this we we need to use what we need to use linear char density can i say lambda is equals to q by l okay so from here can i say q is equals to lambda l okay place this value in this equation place this value here so what will you get flux is equals to you will get lambda l divided by epsilon naught okay so make it equation number three make this equation number two and this is your equation number one okay fine okay now we will solve equation number one in this we need to use the vector rule okay so vector rule i will i'm going to explain here in this extra space okay we know we have the word called in the vectors okay let's say we have a vector a vector is equals to a times a cap easy to understand there is no problem okay it means magnitude and direction are in the same way but we have a tensor quantity tensor quantity means in which we are assigning the direction tensor so let's say in case of length area volume in these type of vectors which uh, in these type of scalar quantity not vector in these type of scalar quantities we are providing them the particular direction and then we will make it as a vector let's say we have a word called area it's a scalar quantity you know this thing okay but now i'm providing him a direction let's say area vector is equals to magnitude this is called area magnitude and n cap which is always outward what is this direction outward direction outward direction clear guys so the same thing we need to understand in our type 2 okay we have a cylinder okay just you can say a wire behaves like a cylinder so take four parts if i take a small area here so this is the electric field yes or no okay and what is the direction of area uh, electric field so n cap is this side e cap is this side okay let's say this point take point number two with the color so where is the electric field we already find out from part one all the electric field is going up this is your e cap and this is your n cap clear similarly you can find out here and similarly you can find in the downward direction here so e cap is downward and n cap is downward so guys we are solving at point a okay okay so solve at point a so what should be the angle between 
E cap and A cap. Point A, huh? E cap and N cap. Can we say both are in the same direction? Same direction. So theta equals to 0 degree. Clear? Okay. In case B, can you see angle is 90 degree. So cos 90 is cos 90 degree is 0. So no contribution. Similarly, here also, if you see angle is 90 degree. So no contribution. And the last part, you can say either going up or either going down. So we understand this part. So solve this. So flux equals to integration over a closed path E dot dA. So can I write like this? E because E is a vector E cap. Okay. Dot product dA and n cap. dA with n cap. Okay. I will just change this one so that you can understand this is a different value. n cap. So just put them and integration over closed path. So just arrange them. Huh? Integration over closed path E dA bracket E cap dot n cap clear guys so we can say what is the angle between them angle is zero so we can say this value is one we know na a dot b a vector dot b vector which is equals to a b cosine theta so theta is zero degree so cos zero degree is one so this value becomes one so now we have integration uh, flux equals to flux equals to integration E D A. So solve it E outside integration of D A. So area of cylinder is yes 2 pi R L. So E times 2 pi R L. So this is your equation number 4. Clear guys? So from equation 3 and 4, from equation 3 and 4, put them equal, huh? So now you can solve it easily, okay, from equation number 3 and 4, e times 2 pi r l, which is equals to lambda l by epsilon naught, okay? So cancel, l and l cancel. So what is the value of electric field? Solve it. E is equals to lambda over 2 pi r epsilon naught. Clear? And this is the value of electric field. So guys, what he is asking? Need to find the electric field because of the wire. And we need to use the surface charge density. Okay?